Good morning class. This is Mama Do. Welcome to Mama Do Classroom. Our lesson for today is about ratio. Ratio is a comparative measure of two quantities of the same kind in the same unit of measurement. A comparison of two values expressed as quotient. So we have cuisinier rods are set of colored number rods created by Belgian primary school teacher George Cuisinier in 1891 to 1976. George thought that maybe thinking about different colors and different sizes could help us see numbers differently. So we have here grade 5 jade consists of 45 pupils in which 15 are boys. We can compare the number of girls and the number of boys in the class in different ways. 1. There are 15 more girls than boys in the class. Here we are comparing the number of boys and the number of girls in the class by finding their difference. So, so 45 students, 15 boys and how many girls? 30 girls, correct. See? So with the use of 10, this is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have 15 boys. 1, 2, 3. So 5 times 3 is... 15. Okay. So, if we have 45 students minus 15, so how many girls? We have 30 girls. Okay. Now, let's go to number 2. A number of girls in the class is twice that of the boys here we are comparing the number of girls and the number of boys by finding the fraction consisting of the number of girls over the number of boys so the fraction is 30 over this one 30 over 15 So we have the, the ratio of girls to boys is 30 for the girls and 15 for the boys. So the ratio is 30 to 15. And the simplest form is 2 is to 1. Okay? A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. Thus, if a number of girls and the number of boys are compared, the, the ratio can be written as 30 is to 15 or 30 is to 15 or 30 over 15. However, the answer can be still be expressed into the simplest form. For this reason, the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 2 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 or 2 over 1. Okay, so ratio can also be expressed in various ways such as using colon or as a fraction. In dealing with ratio, the order of two quantities must always be considered. Similarly, ratio must also express in simplest form. 
Okay, class, let us try this. Present your answer using using rods, fraction form, and column form. I'll give you time to think and answer. Okay, let us see your answer. 3 is to 9. Okay, that is 1, 1 third. Lowest term. And 8 is to 4. Lowest term is 2. Then 1 divided by 2 or 1 half. 7 fifth or 1 and 2 fifth. 3 is to 1 or 3 over 1 or 3 okay just see your answer so we have here in a colon form 3 is to 9 is 1 is to 3 or 1 third and then 8 to 4 we have 2 is to 1 or 2 over 1 and also Number 3, we have 1 is to 2 or 1 half. And number 4, we have 1 is to 2 fifth or 1 and 2 fifth. And in number 5, we have 3 is to 1 or 3 over 1 and 3 is to 1. Okay, very good. class I want you to keep in mind a ratio is a comparison of two quantities and can be expressed in various ways such as using colon or as a fraction remember that a ratio must also be expressed in simplest form okay class I hope you learned something today this is mama do See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.